hello my friends and welcome back to another video today it is june 28 and it is about 7 28 my friends i just finished dropping off his uh, my son and his girlfriend at the gym and i'm here um in the parking lot at food for less i am here because i am going to be um getting some uh ribs and some sauce and some potato salad i got the um newspaper the weekly newspaper sales for the week so i was looking at looking through it last night and my husband suggested or requested that he wanted some ribs so that's why i'm here and they were supposed to be on sale so i am gonna go in there quickly and pick those up lord willing they got some fresh ones out because it is 729 hopefully they're done stock uh, stocking up so when i get back my friends i will show you what i picked up this is going to be for our um fourth of july um food or dinner so um yes my friends i hope you guys are doing great um today i woke up so positive and uplifting and i took i got up um and i even um took a quick rinse just because it feels so good wakes me up and it just gets me in a better mood for the day <music> Okay, my friends, I spent 39 and some change. I got me a potato salad. This was on sale for $4.78. These beans, two for $3. This sauce, two for three. I got me a ranch dressing. Original price, well, it was two fifty-eight. dollars Two head lettuces, 68 cents a piece. Bananas and cilantro. And I got me this pack of ribs was on sale for $20.72. Marked on sale. Oh gosh, that thing's heavy. So there you go, food for less, and then the sale, and how much I um, paid. Great prices, great prices. I'm loving them. Hey guys, hey my friends, welcome back. I am back home. It is 11:59. Uh, I just got back from dropping off my son at work. Uh, my youngest one and my other son dropping him off at um, uh, the gym. And he treated us a refresher. You guys know how much I like these. So my son bought, bought us a drink um, and I wanted to share the new books I picked up yesterday from the library because my library card, I misplaced it. I couldn't find it so I just decided to stop in the library to get a new card and I picked up this uh, book. I do like cozy mystery books. Uh, thriller um, books uh, and I picked up this one uh, let me see it's Barry the Hatcher by Peck Cochran this one here let me know if you guys are reading any books at the moment let me know because I always like to engage with my viewers um, and I would love to know what you guys are reading. And I got Sticks and Bones by Carolyn Haynes. I don't know. I've, I've seen the cover and I just immediately thought, fell in love with it. Cute. Um, I'm going to see which one I start with. Um, so yes, this is my first time reading a book by Carolyn Haynes. So, um, my kitchen is a mess, 
dishes did not did not get washed this morning i was as i was prepping food for my husband uh, i made breakfast which we had um eggs and sausage and tacos um and um, i left just all my dirty dishes which is fine no hurry um it'll get done when it gets done um um, I love to wash the dishes. Um, let me know if you guys like washing dishes. What is your least chore to do? Um, your least favorite and your favorite. Um, so I'm just gonna rest, relax. Because yesterday I had a super productive day. Super busy. Which was Tuesday. Um, I bought groceries. And we went laundry. To do laundry. Uh, yesterday was um, a little on the heavier side busier and um, but here we are now thank God Wednesday and we're just chilling relaxing and we're recuperating from all the hard work from yesterday so now today I just get to um, take it easy and slow and enjoy my dream enjoy my Boston, which is laying over there, um, soundly trying to fall asleep, and I'm gonna see which one I end up reading first. So, I thought I'd start with this one Sticks and Bones, just because I started reading this and it already got me hooked. It says, A chill December wind rattles the windows of my bedroom of Delia. Delilah House, the old man winter had a grip on my ancestral home, but I am not about to let the cold keep me from this evening. I lean into the vanity mirror that has reflected at least seven generations of Delaney woman and adjust my mother's diamond and pearl earrings. They are the perfect accessory for the white tool dress I've chosen. It is by far the most beautiful gown I've ever worn and thought I'm a bit long in the tooth to play Cinderella. To prep um, our food for dinner which I'm gonna cook some pinto beans we are gonna have them with some car carne asada with some chili and here I just check to see if there's any little like baby rocks because believe me, sometimes they do come and we don't want to bite into a rock or anything of that nature and hurt our teeth. I'm going to make my house hot, get hot. But I need to have some beans ready. 
even if you just have some beans cooked, you are ready to go to make um, any meal of the day. That's why it's good to have um, beans ready cooked. Yeah, you can refry them and enjoy some good tacos. Different type of bean, and my daughter's helping me wash dishes as I'm doing this. So here are my beans. I only like to add like an onion like that. Like, sorry guys, about my finger getting in the way. I just add salt and that's all I'll just cover them up and they'll cook about two hours or so and these beans will um, last us about a whole week or a week and a half and there's a lid Okay, now I'm going to get ready because I'm going to make some chile rojo. I'm going to use some of these tomatoes. Four. And then I have some serranos. I'm going to use three, four, five, and I'm gonna use two, I, two of these, or three of these. This is chile de arbol, dry chili peppers. And now these are really spicy, so it just depends how spicy you like it. I'm going to use three. I'm going to wash these and put them in a pot to boil to cook. So I got it all washed now nice and clean. And I take off these little tails at, after they're cooked. So now I'm just waiting for this meat to brown up a little bit more and I am drinking a full cup of water now. I it's so hot in here because it's warm and then I did turn on my air but when you cook and then it's hot outside it's just a bad combination so that's why I'm drinking my cold water. Yes, my friends. Let me show you the chili, how it came out like this. Uh, the green chunks that you see is cilantro. I forgot to blend them in together, but it'll work. I just uh, remembered a little bit too late that I had cilantro, but it's still going to be delicious regardless of the bigger chunks. So here I just took out some meat for my oldest son. He does not like, uh, my oldest son Jonathan, he does not like anything really with chili, anything spicy. So every time I make something, I do gotta remember that um, to separate from, um, separate because he doesn't like the chili. Here we go, it's already brown enough, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the 
And I've been loving my cast iron pots. 